Hello everybody, this is a white mage at the level 80 guy. This is Shadowbringers 5.0. And let's just flow through this really fast, shall we? So at level 72, we're going to get two traits. We're going to get Arrow Mastery 2 and uh, Stone Mastery 4. Arrow Mastery 2 upgrades your Arrow 2 to Dia, and your Stone Mastery 4 upgrades your Stone 4 to Glare. So let's start off with your upgraded version of Arrow. It, it is Dia, deals magic damage to the bonus. You have 120 additional effect. It does magic damage over time, just like the Arrow did. Uh, bonus, you have 60. It is a uh, duration of 30 seconds. It is a spell with a global cooldown, and this is what it looks like. So we're going to be spamming this guy to basically do AoE damage. We're going to typically do uh, three of these, and then we're just going to do our AoE rotation, or just do one and then do your single target. And also at level 72, we have Glare, which is the upgraded version of Stone 4. It deals magic damage with a bonus of 300. It is a spell with a global cooldown, and this is Glare. So this is typically going to be your single target rotation, uh, and it goes all the way up to two targets. So uh, one to two targets, you're going to use your Glare. If it's three, go ahead and use your AoE rotation instead. At level 74, we're going to get a new trait uh, called Transcendent Aflatus. Uh, adds a Blood Lily to the healing gauge that blooms after three uses of Aflatus Solace, which is what you have right now. Or your Aflatus Rapture, which is what you'll get later on. But for now, we're just going to use our Aflatus Solace to kind of give you uh, an example of this. So the indicative way of using this is to use three of your uh, uh, three of your regular lilies. You can see it to the left of my Asuna. So we're going to use three uh, a flattest solace in a row. You can see left on my sprint how there should be like a little red bud. Uh, once we've used the third one, you're going to hear that shink sound and you're going to see that red lily. Now once we have that red lily, our ability actually uh, becomes available at level 74. Uh, it is a flattest misery, deals magic damage to a target and all enemies nearby with a potency of 900 for the first enemy. And then it goes down by 10%. Uh, for uh, subsequent targets, all the way down to 50% total. It can only be executed when the Blood Lily is in full bloom, which is typically after your third uh, regular Lily used. And this is going to be your flattest misery. So again, make sure you get as many targets as you can as possible, or if it's just a single target, go ahead and use it on them. At level 76, we have uh, Flattest Rapture, restores own HP and the HP of all nearby party members with a cure potency of 300. It requires a regular lily that you get every 30 seconds. It is instant cast with a spell global cooldown and it nourishes a red lily. So you can use it just like I showed you with the, the uh, Flattest Solace. You can use it three times in a row and get your your flattest misery and this is what a flattest rapture looks like so it's it, it has the same area of effect as your medica 2 and your regular medica at level 78 we're going to get an enhanced asylum trait adds an additional effect to asylum that increases hp recovery via healing actions by 10 percent it's it's straightforward your asylum now heals for 10 percent more and as a recap, you guys, make sure you're tossing that misery out as much as possible. Make sure it, this guy does not stack. So it, your your red your blood lilies they do not stack. You have a blood lily, you use the blood lily, and then you start getting another one. A nice potent AOE heal is going to be tossing your medica two, and right afterwards using your flannus rapture. That's a total of a thousand potency over time. Uh, initializing a 500 potency, which is a Medica 2, 200, plus your Flatus Rapture of 300. So 500 potency plus your 100 potency uh, times a 15 second tick with your Medica 2 regen. It's quite efficient. Uh, just try not to overheal your party members. Remember, you are a healer, but you're also trying to do a bit of damage. Just like I recommend you guys to pick the White Mage as your first healer, it, this pretty much just showcases. Temperance is a straightforward ability. It increases your healing uh, done, and it also decreases the amount of damage you, yourself, and your party members take, specifically the tank. Pop this guy, start doing it, uh, start putting all of your off-global cooldowns on the ground, uh, put your, your, your Asylum, put your, your Assize, put your Regen on the tank, and just start doing as much damage. By the time your tank needs to actually heal again, you've already done three or four uh, three or four holies. You've probably uh, got your your uh, your flattest solas by now, which is th roughly 30 seconds. And then a small tip: this also affects your uh, your divine venison since it out uh, it actually puts a shield uh, with a potency instead of a percentage base now. 
So honestly, the white mage up to level 80 took me a lot longer than I thought it would because I had to grind a lot of other jobs on the side. And Well, this is going to be the Academia Anider. That is how you pronounce that. Alright, well, white mage is straightforward. Okay. Excuse me. You, you see what... You, you see the white mage? It's, it's white mage, it's heavy heals. We're just going to see how many mobs uh, the tank pulls, and then we're going to pop cooldowns based on how many pulls. The regen. Swift cast one. Two. I'm going to hope he pops his invuln. Uh, no time to use my holy there. That should stun everybody. Let me reapply regen. Let me cure it to him once, twice, regen, and now benediction just in case. Yep, benediction. Temperance. Shield. So the, the key factor in White Mage is to use your off global cooldowns to do as much healing while you're able to do damage. Obviously your Temperance will increase the amount of healing and the amount of shielding down to two targets. So let's use our Glare. That is what it's called, Glare. Yes, I always got those two confused when I was trying to do uh, dungeon guides. We're going to watch out for priorities. So let's put the shield, regen. Let's put a dot. Lucid dreaming. Let me pop my thin air. Uh, I hope they don't die to that. My flattest rapture. Okay, Medica 2. I'm forgetting to use the indulgence. Yeah, don't forget to use your indulgence, guys. <laughs> no. But I guess it was enough, though. I'm not going to use my venison here yet. Because the boss isn't really hitting the tank yet. Okay, now I think it should be a good time. That was a tank buster. Let me reapply a lily here. Come on, do your AoE. I'm maxed out on those. Now he does his AoE. Indulgence, Medica 2. into my rapture okay I'm gonna pop my temperance I'm gonna get in close oh that would have definitely killed me use that medica again Oh, gotta get that stuff off of me. Tank still has it on him. Indulgence, Medica 2. I keep forgetting what that's called, Rapture. We should be good, right? Yeah, boss is almost dead. Let me toss my size. Yeah, never hold on to your size, guys. Unless there's some sort of mechanic that, that is going to do quite a bit of damage or you need to top off everybody. Yeah, just, just, just blow off your size. Don't even think about it. Alright, well, that takes care of White Mage up to level 80. 
Um, if anything, you guys should uh, definitely, not should, but definitely let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Oop, that one left quickly. Oh, they all left quickly. <laughs> a bunch of professionals just decided to join me in this. Well, as, any, as always, just uh, let me let me uh, let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and uh, we'll see you guys next time for our next video.